Hi friends, so this is regarding the interview experience in 1MG. This company is located in Gurgaon. So I was interviewed for software developer there and uh, there were two rounds mainly there. So I will give you details about those two rounds. First of all, the company, uh, they didn't take too much of my time there. The interview was started uh, after some time and there were two rounds so let's look into the two rounds what they ask in the interviews so in the round one they ask me database related uh, data structure related questions and their first question was create or suggest a data structure that would insert delete and retrieve a random number in o1 time right so you can think about uh, sim uh, this similar to cache system maintaining a maybe a priority queue or queue right and uh, another double linked list or if you have some other uh, other data structure in your uh, mind then you can think about that for this question so you have to uh, retrieve all these three operations in over time fine so this was the first question in round one and the question number two in round one was they gave me one array and they asked me to find the next greater element in that array so if this is our array then uh, if we are starting moving from the first uh, element then the next greater element of 10 is 15 right and next greater element of 4 is 15 next greater element of 15 is 18 so they need to uh, we need to print this array and as you can see in this case in case of 18 there is no greater element in the array so in this case we need to print minus 1 similarly here also we need to do in minus 1 and here also in minus 1 so there are two approaches for this first one is simple uh, which can be done in o n square times if if you start traversing from here and and then begin for uh, i mean to say if you are at first position let's say 10 then you can start traversing from 4 15 and as you find the uh, next greater element of 10 you can print that similarly then you can further move for 4 15 7 but in uh, worst case the this will give in o n square times and so this is brute force solution Another approach that you can think of is using recursion or a stack. I am just giving you a brief detail about that. That uh, you can push the element 10 into the stack. Right? So if this is your stack then you can push 10 into it. And then you can start from second element 4th. And start uh, popping the stack. As you will see that 4 is smaller than 10 then you will push 4 also into the stack then you move further and in case of 15 you can uh, pop the elements from the stack and for uh, for 4 and 15 15 is greater than 4 so you will print 15 then you can also see that 15 is greater than 10 then you will print 15 and then you will push 15 into the stack similarly you will move for all the elements and uh, the approach is quite uh, faster compared to brute force right so this is this is the good solution for this problem so this was the round one and then there was round two in which there were there was not a discussion related to data structures but it was overall computer science knowledge of uh, of an individual so let's look into the questions for that round so in round two they asked me several questions as i just told you uh, the first question was what exactly happens in https request so they wanted to understand uh, how https and http are different right and another question is another question was how security is maintained between client and server so there is ssl exchange right 
certificates exchange between the servers and clients so they wanted to understand how this is happening right so this was the one of the question another question was how authentication works so when you are doing login into your let's say facebook account then there is some authentication working at the back end so they wanted to understand that authentication and uh, how the how authentication would work when you are let's say logged in in several places by several places it means that several browsers ios and uh, maybe android also and how you will remain logged in in all of the places at one go how the session would be maintained so they wanted to understand that in this question another question was related to java and this was a hot topic in java if you are if you are a java developer they wanted to understand about the string immutable class so they ask very various questions related to that so let's say if there is one string name and name is rahul and if you are doing name is equal to let's say something maybe josh then what what exactly is happening at the back end uh, they wanted to understand that right and the another question was related related to indexes how indexes work how are clustered and non clustered indexes are different from one another and they go and then they went a little deep and they asked me about let's say if you are having one index on c1 c2 and c3 so these are three columns c1 c2 and c3 then which of the following queries in then in which of the following queries index would work correctly so if you are having query on c1 and c2 then would it work c1 c2 c3 would it work only on c2 c2 c3 c1 so let's say if you if, if to give you just more detail let's say there is one table where c1 is equal to something and c2 is equal to something then will and if you are having index on these three c1 c2 c3 in this order then will the index will this index works or not if they change something like this then will the index works or not so there is one uh, detail uh, discussion which is provided by the sql uh, sql documentation you can uh, read about it and you will be able to answer of all these questions that indexes usually work from left side right so c1 and c2 would work but but if you are having index let's say on c2 it won't work right let's move on to last question which they asked me in the interview and they wanted me to develop a ticket booking system for a system for a system like book my show so let's say there is one book my show and basically they wanted to understand how you will manage the booking of tickets how you will display the movies seats available how you would ma maintain the session by session it means that let's say if you have booked one ticket and and uh, there there may be an let's say you have booked one ticket on book my show and someone else is has else is also booking that ticket via pvr app then how you will maintain the uh, synchronization issues you need to take care of that problem also right so these were their questions uh, in round 1 and round 2 in 1mg and this is all from my side i will provide you more lectures on various interviews all the best